The chair lays out on second reading HB 2071. The clerk will read the bill. It was the moment we've been fighting for, for three long years. HB 2071 by Jashan waited in certain public facilities used to provide affordable housing. The Texas House of Representatives set to finally debate a possible end to what we have called the theft of tens of millions of dollars of your tax money, a dubious affordable housing program called PFCs for short. The bill stops abuses of the program by tightening up the standards the to use the program, requiring transparency and increasing accountability. We had loudly complained as the unelected Houston Housing Authority signed secretive real estate deals one after another with developers that gave out 100% tax breaks, often in exchange for little or no real rent reductions at all. Millions had gone to the former chairman of the HHA. Excuse nope, me. Nope, nope. Excuse put me. It, put it away. Put it what? away. What? Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Don't, Wait, gra seriously. don't grab my microphone like that. What's wrong with you? And the wife of County Commissioner Rodney Ellis. I've called it a racket. <laughs> That's another way to put it. You agree? <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Alan Hassenflu is the chairman of the powerful Houston Region Business Coalition. He warned the mayor personally what was happening three years ago. The mayor did nothing to stop it. Until last month, we suspect he saw the writing on the wall. I think the momentum got so great and the amount of taxes that were taken off were so great that it, that people like you were exposing that, that he just couldn't continue this practice anymore. He just couldn't continue it. This whole thing is, is a scam and it, we've known it's a scam for over a year. The business community saw what we did. The mayor was mortgaging the future without any real help for the families who need affordable housing the most. $74 million in property taxes already wiped out. Money that could have gone to pay like firefighters. The mayor cannot escape blame for this. So they're not really helping lower income people. They're just actually taking their property off the tax roll and they're not reducing their revenues. So there's the rich developer welfare that's coming into place. We already know, that's why the, this the, bill, There's a lack of transparency around PFCs right now. This bill intends to, to ensure that there is transparency so that there can be an accountability. Katie lawmaker J.C. Jatong led the fight, co-authored by freshman lawmaker Mano Diala, who represents the West Side folks whose public protests were growing at the disappearing tax money. The transparency in these programs are, are slim to none. This is something that has gone off the rails. Some of these deals have zero percent. A hundred percent of money is going to developers' pockets. Fort Bend County lawmaker Gary Gates wanted more changes to make sure that 60 percent of any future tax breaks go to real rent reductions. It was clear throughout the debate the Houston Housing Authority was considered the chief abuser of this state program. This bill would end the game. That's what's being shown by investigative reporters that have gone and looked at some of these deals is that sometimes they can't find any public benefit. I can assure you, without beyond a doubt, 100% you guys have helped. No question. You have brought a bright light, a brighter light to this issue. And I'm thankful that you did it and grateful. There being 81 ayes, 60 nays, the amendment is adopted. The original bill already ended the Housing Authority's role in this racket, but Gates wanted to make sure that the city and the county and the school district would all have to sign off on all future deals. Because they're going to have their taxes at risk, they get a say-so to make sure the deal is a good deal. It was the kind of government scrutiny Alan Hassenflu always wanted. You think taxing entities have to have the right to look at this? Absolutely. And we want to put it back to the elected officials, not unelected appointed bureaucrats that really have no accountability. And the bill was also changed so that the audits of future real estate deals weren't done by the developers themselves, but by the state agency already reviewing a lot of other housing deals. The debate lasted a while. The chair recognizes Mr. Jatan to close on the bill. For, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for everyone's sake, I move passage. It was nearly a unanimous vote in the end. The House had always been the sticking point to fixing this mess, how a scandal changes things. The bill now moves over to the Texas Senate, where Paul Betancourt has been 
outspoken. The process is totally out of control. It has to be stopped. There have been 138 hours and four days. HB 2071 is finally is passed in engrossment. But we're glad to report the gravy train that was hurting our future is one step closer to ending.